Hey, what's up, people? When you freshly install WordPress, your default login URL is wp-admin, which takes you to the page wp-login.php. This is a well-known location, and this is the first place where hackers will attempt to break in. In this tutorial today, I will show you how to change wp-admin URL to anything of your choice and hide wp-login.php from bots and hackers. My name is Mazhar. And at Right Solutions, I create tutorials for all you DIY people. If you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to get the notification for my next video. And now, without any further ado, let's head to the WordPress dashboard and continue with this tutorial. To hide your WP admin login page, we're going to uh, use a free plugin. And let's uh, go to the uh, plugins and click on Add New. Here, just type in WPS Hide. This plugin uh, is uh, known as a WPS Hide Login. And if you look at uh, the, uh, the active installation, uh, this is about uh, 700,000 active installation and with the 1,834 five star ratings at this point, it's a wonderful and very powerful uh, plugin. The last update was uh, almost three weeks ago, so it's not abandoned uh, plugin. And if you want to get uh, more information about this, uh, just uh, click on uh, more details and you will uh, get a lot of uh, pros and cons and uh, possibly some precautions if uh, you need to know before, beforehand. Uh, let's go ahead and install. And uh, as I always recommend, before you install any new plugin is better to take a uh, backup of the website so in case something goes wrong so you'll be able to restore it back to uh, the position where your website is right now so let's go ahead and install this uh, plugin now so let's say uh, activate this plugin too and as soon you uh, see the plugin is activated so you can just see uh, uh, it has appeared on the install plugins and uh, you can just go to settings here but in case uh, um, if you or don't find your, your plugin settings. So it is always appearing under the settings and you will see their WPS uh, hide login. So just click on this or click on the other side. It will uh, bring you to the settings page here, which is basically the general tag, uh, tab of your settings. And if you look at the bottom here, you can just see the login URL. So this is the place where you just want to uh, change this to anything of your choice. So um, let's say my page, uh, you can just uh, give it anything else. Uh, so you can just uh, type uh, the name of your choice and if you look at the uh, uh, the second option here which actually gives the redirection URL I mean in case somebody is trying to type in wp-admin so instead of uh, bringing up uh, uh, the, the login page it will just uh, uh, show the 404 you can design your uh, customized uh, URL page as well maybe you can just uh, put any page any page where you would like to redirect uh, the traffic who are trying to directly reach to your login page so after doing this, just uh, uh, say press uh, save changes. And as soon as you press the save changes, you will just see that it will give you the information here. Your login page is now here. So you can just see that now your uh, login page, your name, your domain name slash my page and whatever you had driven. So it's very important to just uh, bookmark this page. If you forget somehow this, uh, I mean the, the login page, you will not be able to access your dashboard. So the best practice is to open it in a, in a new tab and just uh, uh, bookmark it. Uh, there, there are a few precautions I would uh, like to give you information on it. If you are using any caching software, so you might have to add this login to, uh, to the exempted uh, URLs, but normally it did not give me any trouble. I've been using two, three different uh, caching plugins, so it, it works fine with everything. So now, uh, as you had saved the changes, uh, you just uh, uh, had redirected your, uh, your login page. So to just see it, let's go say logout, and here uh, you can just see that if you go back to the healthy yoga this is my tutorial site here so you can just see that this is the site here so let's say if we try to type in wp-admin so click on it and it says oops that page does not uh, uh, cannot be found so it looks like uh, that page is not there so if any bot is trying to assess this page directly uh, maybe with any uh, you know suspicious activity so uh, that page is hidden so now how do you go back? So you remember that uh, we kept the name my page. So you can just click on it and it will bring you back to the login page here. So here, of course, you have to type in your credentials and have a very long password. So here we are, uh, we are back into the into the dashboard here. So uh, there are a few, a few things I just uh, like, I like to emphasize uh, before I end, uh, end this video. This plugin sometimes gives you trouble if you just go into the uh, permalinks and uh, uh, just look here if this uh, promo link is uh, uh, it works best 
with the uh, custom post uh, post structure post uh, name if you have uh, this plain uh, 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 permanent uh, settings it might will give you trouble sometime so that's it guys for this uh, short tutorial today if you like this video please uh, don't forget to give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and i will see you with the next video next time you have a good day